Sean's Conscience is available to download on iTunes. <laughs> it's available in all good record stores and some shit ones too. Right, I know, I know what you're all thinking. There's a couple of things probably going through everyone's mind. Um, one is probably, um, were the farts real? Yes. Yes, they were. And uh, the second one is, you're probably thinking, how the hell did you manage to pull a cracker like that? Well, there's only one way to find that out. We're gonna have to ask her, Emma. How the hell did you manage to pull a cracker like me? <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? I thought that was going to be nervous, this is funny. <sighs> right, um, now before I pass you over to um, Dumb and Dumber, <laughs> I have, um, I've written a little poem. Um, oh, yeah, well, it's a little, it's not a little. <laughs> Six lines on each page. Um, before we could do that, I'm going to just have a quick shot. Put his arse then. Sorry. Too many of you. Too big around. Later. Right. That wasn't part of it. Um, right, ready? Uh, I had you all this and that. It's really odd. All right, I've, I've chosen to read you a poem because I'm bricking myself. A speech I'm not brave enough to do. And stress is not good for your health. Those of you who know me well have probably received one of my rhymes. So I'm sorry for taking the easy way out, but this has to be one of those times. So here it goes, my wedding speech poem. To start, I'd just like to say, thank you for sharing our moment and celebrating our day. There's so many people I'd like to thank, this poem could go on and on. I'd like to start with my mum and dad. To you they're called Lynn and Ron. Thank you both mum and dad for making such a wonderful bloke. <laughs> who is cool, smart, kind-hearted, funny, talented, warm, loving, caring, funny. Brilliant, good looking, great dress sense, and so on. Thanks to my brother Scott, who's managed to stay sober so far. We don't want any sick episodes tonight, and please don't fall asleep at the bar. I'd like to thank Emma's dad Tony, and there's more than one reason why. Not only for the future DIY he will do, but for being a really nice guy. Thank you, Anne, for what you've done and preparing the lovely flowers. A round of applause for Anne. It must have taken her hours. To all the beautiful bridesmaids who are lovely inside and out, like Chief Bridesmaid Cecily Holt. Her hard work deserves a shout. She is the poshest person she is the poshest person in the room, scatty but very clever. Thank you, Cess, for all your hard work. You'll be our friend forever. Good to it? I love it. Josie and Ellie, my beautiful girls, you can see they get their good looks from their dad. <laughs> Thank you for being bridesmaids today, and thanks for not bringing your iPad. <laughs> not forgetting my lovely niece Amy, and Emma's oldest friend Sarah Blake. Oh, no, I never thought that table. <laughs> That reminds me, thanks Auntie San for decorating our cake. She's not here though. She is Auntie San. <laughs> Have a drink for Auntie San, decorating the cake. <laughs> but it did fall apart. There's a story about that later, I'll tell you. That just leaves my bestest men, Stevie B, and also JJ. 
I have no idea what's coming up next or what they're about to say. I'm sure it's all good. And I shouldn't have to worry. But if there is something I forgot, then Emma, I am truly sorry. <laughs> it's an honour to have you both by my cor oh, both in my corner on a day that means a lot. And to you both, I shall raise my glass and have another vodka shot. <laughs> Two seconds. What's <laughs> yours, boys? Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so those are my thank yous done. I'm sorry if you didn't get a shout. But there's one more person who I can't forget, who what today is what it's all about. So can I get soppy for one moment? and say something that's on my mind, that has to be said. Everybody have your sick buckets ready. I can say this now that we're wed. For the very first moment we met, it was obvious and plain to see. And I knew right then and there, that Paul was the DJ for me. <laughs> But seriously, to you, Emma, I say this. I will love you for the rest of my life. And I'll try to make you happy every day. And I thank you for becoming my wife. Oh. Yeah. Last one. So if, can everyone raise their glasses? My toast and promise is this. I'll be the best husband a man can be. And I'd like to finish this poem with a kiss. Oh. Oh. I just read these last night. Um, and now I'm up here. Sorry, lads. It's the Sean show. Uh, did, you hear about the, uh, hold up. did you hear about the two aerials that got married? Apparently the ceremony was crap, but the reception was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the two bed bugs that were engaged? They got married in the spring. Oh. I'm ruining it now. Quick one in your head. Oh, that one's really bad. That's it. I'm going to um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to pass you over to uh, my bestest men. Now, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.